Yin Ding Kung. Yin Ding Kung no ba? Mole na. Wait, you can't go in there alone. We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with Dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. Your destiny, maybe the fate of the entire galaxy, could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Jolly speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple, but we must go with you. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we... Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day, the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak.
Yes. Hmm? dares intrude on our meditations, you know the penalty for... <gasps> Revan, you are back. We have sworn allegiance to Malik. He has led the Sith to conquest and victory. Your time is over, Revan. Malik told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malik will reward us greatly for destroying you. Now. 
Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. Oops.
to you after all, Revan. Yes, Revan. I was there when you almost died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. The Council tried to exploit our bond. They hoped your memories would lead me to the Star Forge. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also tasted the power of the taint within you. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. 
Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Listen to me. The dark side leads to death and destruction. I've seen the horrors the Sith have unleashed on the galaxy. Turn away from this path. Shut up, old man. Your time is over. The age of the Jedi and the Republic is no more. This is the age of Darth Revan and the Sith. Don't do this, kid. I don't want to, but I'll fight you if I have to. Even if it costs me my life. A true Jedi would never bow down to the Sith. If this is your decision, I have no choice but to do battle against you. Kill her. Rend her flesh. Show her the fate of all who dare stand against us. Embrace the power of the dark side. Yes, the sacrificial blood will consecrate this ancient temple in the name of the Sith. With the death of the Jedi, the rebirth of Darth Revan will be complete. <laughs> You will have to disable the energy shield around this temple before we can leave. There is a computer here on the temple summit that has access to the power generators. You can also use it to disable the disruptive field that protects the Star Forge. Otherwise, the Ebon Hawk will not be able to leave the planet without crashing. I'm here.
What can I do? Vasily, you're alive. I was worried about you. For a minute there, I, w I was sure that we'd never see you again once Malik got his... W wait, wait a minute. Where are Juhani and Jolie been, though? Are they okay? What happened inside that temple? What? W what are you talking about? The Jedi Council has failed, Karl. Darth Revan has been reborn. Together, we will destroy Malik and seize control of his fleet. Then use it to crush the Republic. Johanni and Jo Lee would not swear loyalty to the new ruler of the Sith. They died for their foolishness. Now swear loyalty to Darth Revan, or face your own death. Wait, what? No. We serve the Republic. You are no better than Malak. We'll never swear allegiance to one who serves the dark side. The droids will continue to serve you, Revan. They are programmed to obey their master, and there may be others who will choose to join us. The Republic is doomed. Revan has returned. Who will now swear loyalty to the second coming of the Dark Lord? You're Revan, and I'll follow you anywhere. It doesn't matter who you're fighting against, I'll be at your side. Mandalorians don't have any great love for the Republic anyway. Light side, dark side, it doesn't make any difference to me, Revan. I'll stick by you no matter what comes. I saw what the Sith did to Terrace. Anyone who serves the dark side is evil. Big Z and I are with Karth on this one. <coughs> Salbar, Revan's a Sith, just like Malak. It's not betrayal if you break your life debt now. <coughs> <coughs> Salbar, I don't care. I won't help the Sith against the Republic. Not for anything. Not even for you. You don't have to help the Sith mission. Not while I'm here. I see now it was a mistake to let you go into that temple. And I, of all people, should have seen this coming. First saw Karath, and now you. I mean, I should be an expert on betrayal by now. But with nothing you can say of you can make me betray the Republic. I won't join you, and I won't just stand aside and let you become ruler of the Sith again, Revan. Run for admission! Go! Go! Let him go. We have more important things to worry about. We have to get to the Starforge and kill Malak. Then we can turn our attention to the Republic. No! This isn't happening! It can't be happening! No, I'm not just gonna stand aside and do nothing! You'll... You'll just have to kill me, but I don't think you will. I don't believe you've gone over to the dark side. Not totally. I don't think you'll kill me. Not if I don't attack you first. Lord Revan. You were as ruthless as Malak ever was. Quickly now, we have to get to the Starforge and destroy the Usurper.
Thank <laughs> you. 